but yeah, I think turnovers really killed us because we had the momentum going, and then the uh, interception in the middle of the field, it just took the momentum away from us. But overall, I felt we did pretty good. Just turnovers can't have turnovers in a game like this. Uh, Joel. Joel seemed like he stepped in and did a pretty good job and did a pretty good job of finding you. Talk a little bit about Joel's performance. Oh, Joel did amazing, I think. He uh, kept his composure all through practice. We've been working with him, telling him we're going to keep it simple for him and everything. But he stepped up, and as a football player, he knows the game, made the plays that need to be made. Uh, obviously, this is disappointing, but, you know, I guess the positive is you got a huge game next week to kind of look forward. I mean, this is one you just kind of got to forget about, right? Yeah, we can't uh, hang on it too much. We just have to move on now and let the rest play out. I know you may have heard this question before, and I apologize if you have. This is kind of a disappointing way, obviously, just to see the, the home part of your schedule and obviously uh, a little loss here. I mean, you guys you know, fought so hard that second half to come back, and it's just kind of disappointing. Yeah, time. it's always disappointing to lose at home because you don't want anybody coming to your house and taking something that belongs to you. But we can't hang on it too much, but it's always disappointing to lose at home in front of your own fans and things like yep. that. You going down? They want also, I mean, just with all the, you guys weren't fully loaded either. I mean, and in games like this, it's just tough. It, it's got to be disappointing to go in without some of your top guns too. Oh, yeah, it's always disappointing. But we, I feel like we had guys step up in every position. Uh, we pride ourselves on working our twos and threes. So if something like that does happen, someone can come in and step up.